How are you going to sell your house for the most amount of money in the least amount of time? Keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome to Minneapolis Living. I'm Nick Sundahl with Aikta Homes of Keller Williams Classic Realty Northwest. Today's video is going to be how to get you the most money in the least amount of time when selling your house. But before I start, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button while you're there, ring the bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video on Tuesdays and Fridays. The old adage in real estate still rings true today. Location, location, location. But assuming we can't pick up your house and move it to a new neighborhood or city, well, we've got to work on three Ps when selling your house for top dollar in the least amount of time. And that first one is presentation. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, first it's on you to get that house fixed up so it's show ready, which means refinishing hardwood floors or replacing carpet, fresh paint throughout. Maybe you've got some mismatched light bulbs. Match those up, get everything high efficient, LED lighting, what have you. Ultimately, a buyer's gonna walk in and they're going to either try to picture themselves living in what you currently have or they're gonna look at the projects that are ahead of them. If we can keep those projects to an a absolute minimum, it's much more likely they're gonna write that full list offer or perhaps even more because that means most people are gonna be interested in something like that. The second part of that presentation part is making sure that you have a professional photographer. And I'm not talking about your friend who just did your newborn baby shoot. I'm talking about an architectural photographer. Somebody understands lighting and angle concepts to make sure that your house gets put in a, in a presentation mode for the most eyes to look at it. That could also include video, maybe such as this one or that one. The second P when it comes to listing your house is pricing. Pricing is so much more important than most people think. They think about listing their home for a particular number and then that's what it's valued at. But pricing is a very much a strategy. Most buyers look in 25 or 50,000 price chunks and being able to fit into certain areas, whether that's homes that have sold that are comparable to yours, or maybe even the competition that's out there. Perhaps your home is valued at 500,000 and then there's another house that's or five and a quarter, but there's more competition at five, five and a quarter than there is five. Maybe it's more advantageous to move down to five. Perhaps, you move, yours is six, but you go with 575 to make sure you grab all those people from below 550. The point is pricing is imperative when it comes to listing your house and it potentially gets more eyes on it if it's priced in the right range. And the last P is placement. Where is your listing going to be placed? Well, once it goes live, it always goes on the MLS. And through the MLS, it does get distributed to all the major third-party sites, such as Zillow and Realtor.com, Trulia and the like. But what else is your agent doing to promote the listing to get the most eyes on it? There are so many different ways to do it these days. And honestly, there are so many platforms that you can leverage. Does your agent have, say, a YouTube channel? Uh, do they have a large following on Instagram? Are they always consistently working on LinkedIn or Twitter or Pinterest or TikTok? Ultimately, you've got to find a plan that works well for your particular property, but placing it in on all these platforms, as well as putting maybe a little bit of money behind it in particular ad funding, goes a long way to putting the most amount of eyes on your property. There are traditional ways of doing it as well. So whether that's postcards, flyers, door hangers, door knocking, the traditional way methods still work to this day and your agent may be very proficient in doing such things, but on a digital level, are they also expanding that reach? So those are the three Ps when it comes to selling your property for the most amount of money in the least amount of time, because ultimately that is the end goal. This is Minneapolis Living. I really appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time.